Beloved ones, I am Isis. I bring you joy and peace and the love and understanding of the day ahead. I bring you contentment and the serenity that comes with the knowledge that you are walking along the path that was designed just for you. I bring you the understanding of this path and the ability to change your ideas and thoughts as you move through this world. As you were just coming through this retrograde and with every retrograde a lot of difficult issues have been brought to the forefront with the majority of people. And as always the retrograde insists that you clear out the garbage, unload the garbage, sift through the manure of what we loosely refer to as our emotions. Of course we all know and are aware that this is needed in order to clear away this unneeded emotional baggage and garbage in order to make room but make room for what exactly? We have heard it all the time and time again, if not more, that you are currently undergoing a process referred to as the Ascension, or some like to call it the Spiritual Awakening. The universe being the perfect time keeping entity that it is brings forth the retrogrades in a timely fashion. Oh, but it doesn't stop there, beloved ones, oh no. The plot thickens. What would ascension be without all those lovely energy blasts that you receive on occasion? Okay. As of late, they are more like proton torpedoes and have been coming in more regularly and a lot more clearly. But still, you have to ask yourself, what would this grand awakening be without them? Beloved ones, the universe, that ever-present perfection that holds you all in, its loving embrace, as I do, guide you whenever the need. You are living upon the only free will society planet in this universe. You are learning the ways of those who have walked the past that you are finding the abundance that is being offered to you each day. I have mentioned earlier that you are living in the only free will society in this experiment of 11,000 planets. You have chosen to be here to learn about the abundance that you can reap in this society. You are here to see the difference in this world and those you have walked upon in the past. Many of you have, have been on planets that were full of anger and hate and all you could think about was getting even with the guy next door. You saw each day the destruction that was continually being brought upon you by those who did not or had not lived in a society where they were able to choose where and what they wanted to be. Others of you were living upon planets that knew nothing of war or anger. You lived in a land that was full of sunshine and grace and learned from masters the way of the planet upon which you lived. It was a land full of education and learning and you are able to put your mind into a realm of hearing the words of knowledge 
and live according to them. You are aware only of the possibility that you could know more and more as you awoke each day. You were chosen ones who would in the future become the leaders and directors of other incarnations that were to follow. Some of you lived in the realm of love. Yes, there are planets out there in your universe that are full of love and remembrance. You are the ones who are so upset with the life upon this planet Earth. You are the ones who cherish those around you and work in an atmosphere of peace and love. You have brought, brought with you during this incarnation the ability to share this love and peace with those around you. If you but put yourself into a state of remembering, you will know of that which I speak. Oh, and there are so many different lands and planets and experiments that are going on in this universe that give you no chance to choose for yourself what you wish and can do. There are so many choices, so many different choices that you can have when you elicit to return to body that is difficult for you to decide what you wish to do with this spiritual being that is within. However, all of you that are listening to this have chosen this world of free will. Are you making the best of this choice? Are you able to see that you do have a choice in anything that you do? Do you make the best of each decision or do you move into a place of darkness where you cannot move because of the anger and frustration you have with yourself over the plans of this life? This is a world where if you choose you can grow into a loving caring being who shares their life with others in a positive manner. This is a world where if you choose you can become successful in a material way and yet not as a, has a friend who can share your life with. Yes, there are so many successful souls in your world who are all alone. They are living what may consider to be a positive life. But in reality, they do not know how to find the spiritual being that is and has been part of their life in the past. There are many souls who have just now incarnated from worlds of anger and hate and did not give themselves enough time in their rest period at home to clean themselves of the negative thoughts and feelings of past lives and now come to this planet of free will and live only for the destructive power that they have enjoyed in the past. Yes, those planets and souls who have lived upon the planets of anger and pain and have not cleansed themselves properly bring with them the thoughts of the past and feel that this earth should be as such. Each of you has a choice. Each of you can be or do whatever you wish. You can move in circles of material wealth and prosperity or you can move through this life in the world of hunger and pain. You can choose what you want to do. You can change your path at will and find a new world waiting, waiting for you in the humble beginnings of peace and love. You can do that which you wish and not look back. 
You are what you make yourself in this life and you can do and say whatever you wish with feelings of regret. Think about your life that you are leading. Is it one of peace and love? Is it one of constantly looking for something better and never being satisfied with what you have? Is it one that you know you can achieve much more but cannot find the way? This is your life and this is your choice. Think about what you are doing and what you have done. Then move forward into the light and commit to the thousands of possibilities that are abound around you. Take a moment to reflect on what your ego fears. No fear is too small. This I say to you only because it is the subtle, tiniest of fears that will cripple you when you least expect it. And it is this tiniest of fears that create the strongest aversions in your quest to manifest all things needed to sustain yourself in this 3D realm. Ponder upon this. And as you do, seek to root it out, force it to the forefront, so you may see it. Just take a moment right now. As you look at it, ask how you might work through it and subsequently release it from your core being. Once and for all, you do not need it. Fear is the greatest of all illusions that you have created here for yourself. It is one of the most powerful of energies in this 3D realm which is wanting you to be in the fifth dimensions where you belong. And you have used it for its fullest. You have indeed become masters of this powerful force. You are love. You are love. Yes, that's right, you. You sitting here listening to this you are love. Beloveds, you are not lost. You have a mirror. Go see it for yourself. See there in the mirror. There is your long lost love. Your long lost soulmate. Your power. Your true power. Beloved ones, let's lift you up. Let's lift you up where you belong, in the fifth dimension, where there is no fears, no limits, only love, you. One love, one heart, you. Beloved ones, I am Isis, wishing you all peace in your heart and filled with love in your being, at your service at all times. Namaste. Thank you, Isis. I send love to you. Thank you for being here today. And I thank you. This is Rosalie. Thank you very much. Namaste.